with everyone. I'm Kelly Hydebrader and this is Lenaway. We take our cameras to all the schools around the district to give you that first-hand look at how hard our teachers are working and the wonderful things our kids are learning. We have an amazing $4.4 million complex here in Lenaway County. It's dedicated to the growing industries that are looking for workers with experience and knowledge in sustainable technologies. And that is where our Center for Sustainable Future campus was born. The hub of the campus is the house built with all of the latest green and most efficient materials. Let's take you through it. Today, we have our first annual CSF Ag Day open house where People from the county, um, all over the county, were invited to come to our open house and check out the cool things the students are working on. We've got presenters from MSU Extension and uh, the MEAT program, NRCS is here, and Farm Bureau. Uh, today, it was definitely a really cool experience because, you know, we got to kind of get out as a classroom, you know, as a class, sorry, to, and get together and kind of go through what everyone else is doing at the tech center, but outside of the tech center, if that makes any sense. And uh, it was just a nice change, you know, and I definitely advise checking this class out. It's really cool, especially if you're outdoorsy. Um, plants, animals, farm equipment, it's nice. Many local companies are excited to see our students getting this kind of experience. And guess what? Student chefs in the culinary lab got some new experiences too. A visiting chef let his culinary skills out of the bag and we get to see a gourmet go wild cooking up some wild game. Hi, I'm Benjamin Dinner and we're here at the culinary class at the LSD Tech Center. And here we're, we're here today for Gourmet Gone Wild. And here we have a teacher, or a chef rather, going over different ways and forms of cooking wild game. Our Make on Wild is actually kind of a division through kind of the Department of Agriculture um, and they go go around and kind of inform uh, usually college level people um, or it, really anyone in urban areas about wild game and what kind of the state of Michigan has to offer. Um, so many times we're used to the chicken, the pork, the beef, but really don't know about the venison, the pheasant, the um, the wild game that Michigan has to offer. So they kind of go around and do educational uh, demonstrations, series about what is um, out there for anyone to consume really. There's so many products across Michigan that you just walk on daily um, that are actually consumable, edible, that you can eat. Um, and just having that knowledge of knowing what to look for. Well, uh, at first it brings into perspective how delicious wild game can be. Typically, someone's first exposure to wild game is uh, some donated venison that their uncle might give them or their aunt might give them uh, that might be freezer burnt and poorly packaged and maybe poorly cooked. This first exposure uh, will be cooked much better. It's processed uh, in a very clean and quick method that makes it taste much better in the long run. And with the, the recipes here, we help focus on the healthy sides of wild game. It's incredibly low in fat and cholesterol, but in order to make that taste delicious, uh, you need to have certain tips and techniques, and it's helpful to share them with young, inspiring chefs. You know, I'd really like to point out how rewarding hunting and harvesting can be. Uh, you folks might be familiar with gardening and the incredible reward you get from watching something grow in your own garden harvesting it and cooking it for dinner. It really is a whole story. The same can be said with wild game, with fishing and hunting and harvesting. You take a lot of your time into stalking the animal or finding where to hunt and a lot of time in the woods, which is great for just mental reflection and you know your own inner psyche. And then you take a lot of time to harvest it and clean it. And when you serve that meal at your dinner table, it really creates the story and you get a, a full, rewarding experience. I mean, I've learned a lot through watching him cook and trying some of these foods. Like wild game is something I've never really tried and tastes pretty good. Um, he showed us a lot about how to like find and identify plenty of uh, plants and other types of foods. She brought you into this class because she thought it would be a good experience for 
the natural resources class to also experience as well. How do, how do you think this is going to benefit your class in the long run? Um, I think it benefits our class because a lot of the natural resources stuff that we do, we deal a lot with the animals and the plants that he used to cook. So it also kind of broadens our horizons on what future career we can go into and what else we can do with our class. It was This was definitely a fun experience. I honestly want to go home and try making some of this on my own. Probably won't because I'm a terrible cook, but uh, yeah, definitely fun. That looked really great, didn't it? Stay right there. We're going to help you eliminate some of that stress when we come back. They're coming. Please, is everybody. Light check. One, two, one, two. Everything looks good on our end. And lights. Come alive with the forest. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. Sometimes all it takes to be a dad is remembering how to be a kid again. Take time to be a dad today. This new dad is picturing a tree house in the sky, but he's ignoring the instructions. Good luck, big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Connor is struggling in school. Finding lowest airfare to Istanbul. Why don't you understand me? I do. This is what it feels like for kids with learning and attention issues. Redirecting to understood.org. Is your daily calendar packed with work, school events, after school events, church functions, family time, and other commitments? We all have very busy lives, and our school nurse, Mary Markle, says we will be healthier if we eliminate some of that stress. So here is Wellness 101. I'm Mary Markle, LISD nurse. Today I want to talk to you about some tips to eliminate stress. We cannot eliminate stress from our lives completely, but we can prevent a lot of it by simply taking care of ourselves. Here are some better ways to manage the stress in your life. First, vow to take good care of yourself, focusing on one day at a time. Make small, easy changes in your life. Create a buffer zone between work and home. And a worry is something you cannot do anything about. If you cannot change it, don't worry about it. Find some humor when solving a problem, so important. Take one minute vacations throughout the day. Get up from your desk, stretch, walk away from what you're doing if possible. Talk less, say more, eat less, chew more, hate less, love more. Hope you find these tips helpful. I'm Mary Markle. Be well. Thanks, Mary. Great tips. Now make sure you get rid of some of that stress. Coming up next, we bring local employers here to our school to interview our students. And guess what? They're getting jobs, jobs, jobs. Everywhere that we go, he makes people laugh and makes people smile, and I feel like I have that quality. He's the one who always takes me fishing. I watch golf with him. And <laughs> I watch him cook, because when I grow up, I want to be a cook, too. We have the same faces like this. Dad is the one, when you fall, that picks you up. That unconditional sense of presence and um, reassurance is really what makes him my father. May I please have an application? Thank you. Skip the drama. Get your diploma. Find free adult education classes at finishyourdiploma.org. Go for a mouthful. Go for the fun. Oh, go for go kids. Go for kids. Yeah. For everyone. Just one 
stock is what it takes And it's gopher, gopher, gopher cakes Open wide, stuff your face There's always room for more gopher cakes Empty the box, then reload Eat those gopher cakes till you explode Exercised lately Till you explode Don't let E. coli mosh with your food an estimated 3,000 Americans die from a foodborne illness each year. So always separate raw meat from vegetables. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Lenaway Intermediate School District instructors work really hard to build their programs with input from employers around Michigan and Ohio. Some programs are tailored to train students to work on specific equipment in the core areas of manufacturing, welding, mechatronics, engineering, construction, robotics, automotive repair, and collision expertise. We get them ready for that job even before they graduate from high school. And then we bring the employers here to the LISD Tech Center to see if there's a fit. Here's how the students prepare for the reverse job fair. I'm Gabe Kirkendall. I'm Della Castrina. And we're at the job fair where employers are turning the tables on students and students are being the interviewer. What do you like to have? Oh, I'm looking for a job in machining or tool and die work. What do you think is the most important skill to have from your class experience? Um, being able to work with people. Um, if you can work with welders or manufacturers or anyone alike, it'll definitely help you in the field. For this job fair? I prepared by uh, getting my resume printed, getting my references printed, uh, organizing the stuff we've done this year and this for first robotics competition. Well, I've been preparing all year for this. I pretty much just went over everything in my uh, resume, uh, pretty much everything that I've done in my past, just re uh, went over it. Gather up the stuff I had and uh, made sure I knew exactly where everything was and what it was and how it worked. Um, I just had to make sure I had all my stuff together and I just want to make sure I represented what I did from year one to now. Do you think it's the most important skill you have to have from your class experience? Um, I think leadership skills are really important that I learned from my class because if you don't know what you're doing and you aren't in charge, you won't ever get time to do anything. At the very minimum, they get an opportunity to practice what to say about their craft, their personal qualities and things, so when they go into other interview situations, they'll probably be more comfortable and have some experience with that. And it gives them an opportunity to talk with people in the field about their skills. It's really amazing to see how these students grow in just one year here at the LASD Tech Center, and they are really excited to get a job with a local company. One of these students has received the highest honor for our residential construction program. It's the Golden Hammer, and yes, I said she. Look at what this girl can do. I was really proud. It's something I've been working for for two years now. As soon as I went into the first year program, I was talking to the first year teacher, Mr. Casino, and he mentioned the award. And I was like, this is my goal. This is what I'm gonna work for. And when they called my name, it was exciting. It's, my goal was achieved. I was pretty amazed when I won. The first thing that went through my mind was, what was my mom's reaction? Because she was, the most excited for it. I started out not really knowing anything. This was a whole new field for me. My first year I went in and I just discovered that I like carpentry. So I went in with a positive attitude. I want to learn a whole bunch of new things. And then I got in the second year and I wanted to make sure I kept that attitude going. 
So, and even over the summer and stuff, I was taking as many opportunities as I could. I even went on side jobs with my dad because he's in the um, construction business. I like the puzzle aspect of it. And once you're done being able to stand back and go, I did this and being able to see the finished product. I didn't think I'd be working on my own as much. I thought I would need a lot more guidance, but like I was doing a lot of siding by my own, on my own, and um, a lot of work was just, they'd tell me how to do it, and then the rest of the day, they wouldn't even check on me, which I never thought I'd be doing that. I thought it'd be constant checking in, well, this is wrong, but that never happened. Don't let anyone stand in your way. There's a possibility there might be some people out there who think you can't do it, but I, you don't listen to them, really. Um, if there were anyone that would try to stand in my way, I'd go as far as I could to prove to them that I can do it. We want to also congratulate our residential construction instructor, Scott Biggs, for completing another great Habitat house with these students and, of course, the local contractors. Now a Lenawee County family will have a forever home, and some of our students were able to help put it all together. Well, that's our show. Thanks for sharing some time with us. If you see something amazing going on right here in Lenawee County, just email us at lasdtv at lasd.us. I'm your host, Kelly Hydebreeder. Make it a great day, Lenawee.